giving y'all giving y'all a different POV today. We're gonna be walking and talking. Um, I'm about to go for my daily walk and I'm gonna bring y'all with me so we can talk about a little bit of stuff. And uh yeah, let's get to it. Yes, I got them right now. Syracuse shirt, Nike sweats, Brooks shoes. First of all, we were Syracuse. My school was nowhere near that size. And these sweat shorts, outdated. I need to get some new ones. I need to go shopping in general though. Like, it's been so long since I've been shopping. It's probably been at least, it's been at least a year since I went like shopping, shopping. Like, bought something non-workout related. I can buy workout clothes all day, but I don't really. But, yeah, I need to get some new clothes. I need to get some new shoes. But I'm so specific about shoes. So, like, if I do get a shoe, it's got to be, like, a nice, nice shoe. Like, like some, like some real nice Jordans or some shoe that I want to send some kid. Like, right now, I'm currently looking for the Jordan 18s, but I can't find them nowhere. But if they are for sale, they're, like, $600. I ain't trying to pay that right now, but yeah. Living over here in Midtown, it's so nice, so peaceful. Look at the sun. Good look at it. I'm getting no better than that. People, please start cleaning up after your dog. It smells like straight boo-boo on the sidewalk. Straight boo-boo. Y'all ever feel like y'all scare people? Like, me personally, I feel like I scare people. And like, it's been like that way for years. So like, specific things that I do is, like if I'm on the sidewalk and someone's in front of me, but they're like a good distance in front of me, I'll make myself known before I like pass them because I don't want to start with them and then like something happened that I didn't particularly want to happen. So I'd rather avoid it in general by just making my presence known. And then, like, sometimes, I don't personally think that I'm, like, that large of a person, but I feel like someone else might not see the same way. So, I just feel like I, I be scaring people sometimes. It don't even be on purpose. Like, I don't know. I just I just rather would not just, like, walk up on someone and they see me in the last second because it might scare the hell out of me. And that's not even me just tooting my own horn. That's just me being open and honest about what has happened in the past. Anyways, life is good. Job is going great. Been there for like three months now. Going great. It's a little tough time right now because uh, I'm a travel nurse, right? And like all the nurses want the money that they were getting during COVID. And COVID rates were like inflated like a whole bunch because they were really getting high demand for nurses and whatnot. But like now that they're not in the high demand, like prices are going back the same and no one wants to uh, deal with that because they're used to getting paid, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollars a week, and now they got to go back to getting paid like two thousand a week. So it's crazy. And I definitely understand what they're going through because if I'm going from, if I go from making five grand a week to two grand a week, that's a big step down. You got to like dial back your lifestyle a little bit. I currently need a new car so bad. Like I drove my car to Charlotte like two weeks ago. I was scared the whole time. My car was making so much noise. I got a bent rim I need to get fixed. And also, I think the transmission is starting to slip because, like, sometimes it, like, jumps into gear instead of it, like, going easily through it. So, I need a new car. I need to get paid more money. Somebody hire me or give me the lottery money of, like, a couple hundred thousand dollars and I'll be straight. I'll figure it out from there. I ain't got that many followers or people who watch my videos right now. But, hey, the five and four or five of y'all that watch my videos every time I post, I love y'all, man. I'm going to take y'all with me when this all takes off. So I'm definitely not going to forget all four of y'all. Um, hopefully I can come back to this in the future. Well, I will come back to this in the future. And we're going to all smile and laugh at this. So patience, man. It's patience. I really like doing these uh, vlog style videos. So I think I'm going to start doing this a little bit more. So expect I expect a little bit more of the vlogging style workout when we walking with the camera and 
and getting my POV versus me setting the camera up. But get me wrong, y'all gonna get the content that's gonna be me setting it up as well. Um, but for the most part, I think I'm gonna go more towards this route because I like being able to hold the camera and whatnot. And I like to talk, so it's a little better for me. So what I see, y'all gonna see. What I see, y'all gonna see. Yeah. All right, y'all, back at the crib. I got some questions for y'all. So, I'm a bigger dude. I'm about 250 pounds. Um, and I struggle with finding clothes that fit particularly to my body. Like, shirts is one thing, but pants are the other. So, like, I'm two, two, I'm about 250 pounds, but my waist is smaller than traditional leg size for my waist. So, like, my waist is like a 35, 36, but when I put the pants on, they fit about to about right up in the area, like around the quad area. Hurts. Like I got these cargo pants in here. I'm gonna show y'all that real quick. So I got these cargo pants right here. I think I got these from H and M like a year ago, and even they are tight in the quad area. You can probably see it pulling. Like this is far. As I can pull these legs, let's see how tight it is around my leg here. So tight. And like, I want, and don't get me wrong, these like good pants, like they fit pretty well, besides the fact they don't squeeze my legs too, too much. Um, but like, they are comfortable. And the last pair of comfortable pants I bought were from Banana Republic. And I wore the sh out of them. Let me show you how much I wore in pants. I still got them. So, these, I thought I bought these. This is the first pair of pants I bought fresh out of college. Literally, my first check. These are, this is a 35 32 slim fit Banana Republic, the Traveler jeans. Hundred and like thirty dollars. That hurt. The only reason I really bought them, to be honest with y'all, was because my homeboy worked there and he's into fashion. So I figured, hey, he know what he's talking about and he recommended me get these. But don't get me wrong, they were great pants, but like. If they wouldn't have ripped, I would have still been wearing these, wearing these pants, but they ripped. But this is the best material. See how much it stretches? This is the best material I have ever felt for jeans. To my bigger guys, where do y'all get y'all jeans from? I need help. I need more options. I want something that fits me comfortable, but I also don't want to break the bank. I'm willing to invest in a good pair of pants because I'm tired of being out of place when it comes to events too. Because like all I got is athletic gear. I really need some clothes, clothes to put on. And I like dressing up. There was one point in my life in high school, I used to always dress up. I had all the polo, all the South Pole. I had everything. The, the, the picnic shorts, I had them. Had them. Every color. Every color. Don't face had it. Ralph Lauren had it. Nike socks had it. Elite socks had them. No, man, I, I really don't know. And last thing, but not least, so obviously I know I'm into videography, and for the most part, yeah, I, as y'all know, I mean, I'm into videography, so of course I like cameras and whatnot. If you're in the Raleigh, Charlotte area, and you're, you're collaborator, content creator, whatever, photographer, can we collab? Can, you, can we have a little sit down? Can we chit chat? Can we talk? Because I really want to, to, to finally start this thing and get it going like I've been doing videos on and off for probably like the last 10 years even way back to like high school making like little videos but I will always like do one really really funny video and then just disappear like a year come back but this time I'm in a groove I'm, I'm riding this groove I'm riding this wave and I've been creating content talking things out so I really want to get things moving so if you're into the same field I want to pick your brain uh, I'm willing to drive wherever North Carolina so just let me know than that, expect a lot of great content. Y'all gonna get the good, the bad, the ugly. And uh, bye. Why are you still here? Leaves.